Welcome to our lecture, and here's a new set for us, a new set of word problems called Algebra Lesson 3C, and here we're going to be combining things together. So our first problem starts with two grades of hamburger are mixed. The mixed hamburger totals 300 pounds. Grade A sells for $2.50 a pound. Grade B sells for $1.80 a pound. If the, total, if the total mixture sold for $638, how much of each type was used? All right, so this is much like a mixture problem, a little bit different, it's done a little bit differently, so let me show you what the best way to go about it is. So I have two types of hamburger, grade A, grade B, and we're trying to find how, much, how many pounds of each were used. So you're gonna let X represent the amount of pounds for one of the two, so it doesn't matter which one, so let X equal the number of pounds used of grade A hamburger. Oh, I'm forgetting an E there. Grade A. All right. So X represents the number of pounds used of grade A hamburger. Now, and how do we express the amount of pounds used for grade B hamburger? Well, if the total is 300 and we used X for grade A, then 300 minus X is the amount for grade B. So 300 minus X is the number of pounds used of grade B. All right, now they tell us that the total mixture sold for $638. So the cost of the grade A hamburger plus the cost of the grade B hamburger totals up to $638. All right? Now, how do you figure out the cost for the grade A hamburger? Well, the price per pound times the number of pounds. So for each pound it costs this much and you multiply it times the number of pounds, that gives you the total cost for grade A. So what is the uh, cost per pound for grade A? For grade A, we had a cost of $2.50 a pound. So $2.50 per pound, should be a B right there. That's the cost per pound, and we multiply that times the number of pounds for grade A, and here we define grade A as to being X number of pounds. So this much per pound times this many pounds gives you the total cost for grade A hamburger. Plus, what is the cost for grade B hamburger? Well, it's $1.80 a pound, so $1.80 a pound. And we multiply that times the number of pounds that we have of grade B hamburger. And here it says 300 minus X. So we use 300 minus X is the cost, is the amount of pounds for grade B times the cost per pound for grade B. That gives us a total cost for grade B and that adds up to $638. Now we can put in the dollar sign there. We don't, it's probably cleaner just to leave it off to make it easier to work with it. So we'll leave the dollars and the per pound off. We just work with the numbers and see what we get. So, uh, working out what's here, we have uh, x times 250, so 2.50x plus 180 times 300. That would be hmm, that would be 540 minus 1.8 times x, so it would be minus 1.80x, and that equals 638. And now we're ready to solve this problem. We're ready to solve this equation for x. Now notice that. Um, we have a decimal here, we have a decimal here. To get rid of the decimal place, we have to multiply everything by 10. If I multiply this by 10, I get 25. If I multiply this by 10, I get 18. The zero doesn't matter, the point zero doesn't matter. So I can go ahead and multiply both sides of the equation by 10. And I do that to get rid of the decimal first. So multiply this times 10, multiply this times 10. What do we get? 10 times this gives me 25x. 10 times this gives me plus 5,400, add one more zero, and 10 times this gives me 18, that's a minus 18x, and that equals 10 times this, which is 6,380. All right, now we keep all the terms of the x on the left side of the equation, move all the terms that do not have an x to the right side of the equation. So here we get 25x minus 18x equals 6,380 minus 5,400. Okay, 18 minus, 25 minus 18 is 7x, and 6,380 minus 5,400, 
Well, if this was 6,400, the difference would be 1,000. If it's 20 less, that would be 980. All right, the last thing we need to do here is divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the x, which is 7, so the 7s cancel out. And what is 980 divided by 7? Well, 998 divided by 7 would be 14. And another 0, we add a 0 to that. And again, if we quickly check, 7 times 100 is 700, 7 times 40 is 280, 700 plus 280 is 980. So that's correct. X equals 140, and now we can go back and see how we define everything. Since X represented the number of pounds used of grade A, that means we used 140 pounds of grade A. And then here, 300 minus X, since X is 140, 300 minus 140 is 160. That means 160 pounds were used of grade, of grade B. And again, if you add the two together, you get 300, which is how much we had to begin with. So that looks good. That's how you do a problem like that.